Hey guys, in this video, I would like to introduce you all to a very new product on the market. This is by Epoch Battery. This is their 48 volt batteries. This is gonna be for a golf cart or you could use it for an off-grid or solar scenario, but predominantly this is ideal for a golf cart. So if we have a look at these batteries, traditionally each battery in the bank in your golf cart is either gonna be a six volt battery, an eight volt battery, or maybe a 12 volt battery. And then you're gonna series connect them up in order to get your 48 volt or 36 volt battery depending on your cart voltage. Predominantly, they're more or less 48 volt batteries. What Epoch Battery has done, which is quite brilliant, is they've actually produced a battery where each one of these is a 48 volt battery all by itself. So this one battery right here is a 48 volt battery, a 30 amp hours. So what you can do is you can run your cart literally off of this one battery, or you could double it up and you can have 60 amp hours, or you can triple it and you can have a 90 amp hour and so on and so forth. So you can get four batteries and have 120 amp hours or five batteries and have 150 amp hours. So it's pretty amazing just how universal this kit is actually going to be for the people buying it to use it in their carts. So right here, I have 90 amp hours worth of battery. And considering the small package, like 30 amp hours out of this one battery at 48 volt, and then three of them, 90 amp hours. Think of how small this is gonna be lined up together. So if we have one battery, two, and three, right there, that's 90 amp hours. That's gonna save a lot of room inside my compartment. And then I can reuse that room, let's say, put like a box in there with a lock on it. And then I'll have like a little trunk or something underneath the seat hidden that I can lock stuff up in. So pretty amazing. So let's have a closer look at these battery cells. So we have lithium iron phosphate. Here's our model number. Maximum charging current of 30 amps, maximum discharge current of 60 amps. So if I take this one battery and then parallel it with that battery, that's gonna give me 120 amps of discharge. Now, if I pair it with that one over there as well, I'll have 180 amps of discharge capability. And same with the charging. If I parallel this battery with that battery, I'll have 60 amps of capable. And then if I pair it with that one, I'll have 90 amps capable charging current. Now, I doubt I'll ever put 90 amps of charging into these, but it's nice to know that if you parallel your system, you can double all these numbers as you go along and your voltage is still going to stay the same. So that's the thing. If you series your batteries, you're going to increase your voltage. And if you parallel your batteries, you're increasing your amperage. Now, if we take a look here at the top of the battery, we have a physical on off button. So you can turn this on, leave it. And then at the end of the season, you can actually just turn your batteries off, which is pretty neat. And then here we have uh, communication ports. So we have one here and a second one here. So when you put these batteries in parallel, you're gonna line them up like so. And then the included cable that comes with the battery, you're gonna plug one battery into the next one and then the next battery into the next one. At the end of the battery bank, you'll have a resistor and then at the beginning of the battery bank, included with this kit, is a fuel gauge. So this isn't just going to give me a voltage reading, this is going to give me an amp hour reading. Because with lead acid batteries, the voltage is a steady decline. So you can kind of judge how much power you have off of voltage and how your cart is reacting. Now with lithium iron phosphate, it's almost a straight line and then at the end it dips. So that's why with lithium iron phosphate, it's key to have an actual meter that's gonna tell you your amp hour capacity so that you're not just driving along and then boom, you're stuck out wherever you are. So very nice to have this. This is included in the kit. So, and then if we continue to look at this battery here at the post, this is gonna be the negative post. We have two different style of connections that are available. So we have one with a threaded, a threaded post with a nut, and then we have one that's a threaded bolt 
into the actual terminal. So we can see there, we actually have a bolt. So we have two different types of connection and then the lug is gonna sit flat on this piece of metal and that's gonna be the same as well for the positive. Two different style of connections that allows you to make your parallel connections and then your connection for your cart or vice versa. You can connect your cart and then connect your parallels on this one. It doesn't really matter, but you have the option of either one. Uh, we have these little knockouts here and that is gonna be for the included battery carrier. So you just hook that on there and hook that on there. And now that gives you a strap in order to lift your battery and install it into your cart. We also have a vent release valve here. In the very highly unlikely vent that something happens inside of here and pressure builds up, then this vent relief valve is gonna relieve that pressure. So this whole battery here is actually waterproof. Uh, I'll put the IP rating on the screen. I don't have it in front of me. And we also have a UN383 stamp, a UL listed. So this battery is actually UL listed as well. Engineered in the USA. So all in all, these batteries are pretty amazing. So now let's uh, talk about what comes with this kit. Okay, so I got the three battery kit. So this is the complete kit. This is everything you need to install this into your cart. Now, I have spoken to a few people that I know who have golf carts. I also have one. But some of the misjudgments uh, out there, I guess you could say, is that people think that if you go with lithium iron phosphate, you're going to have to change your volt regulator. You're going to have to change your uh, amp converter. I forget what it's called. But you'll have to change all these parts in order to incorporate lithium batteries into where lead acid batteries would be. This is a lead acid replacement. You can literally pull your lead acid batteries out and throw these in, hook up the wires, and you're good to go. There's no changing any internal parts in your cart. Let's talk about what you get. So when you purchase a battery, if you purchase the kit or if you just purchase one battery, you get these really nice four gauge uh, negative and positive cables. They're crimped, uh, they have heat shrink on the lugs here, and they're silicone sheeted wires, so they're flexible. You can put them anywhere you want. Uh, just don't put any large kinks into the wire. Um, just have them nice smooth run, and you get a pair of these for each battery that comes in the box. Uh, with each battery, you also get the parallel communication cables. If you buy the kit, you will also get one of these uh, resistors. This is for the last battery on the communication bank. Um, you hook them all up together and then the empty slot at the end is just gonna get this resistor. Uh, this just kind of tells it that I'm the last battery on the lineup and allows it to communicate more smoothly. Um, as far And also, uh, I don't have confirmation of this but I do believe they're gonna be changing this resistor out for maybe some kind of Bluetooth module. So you can actually communicate with your phone and bring your phone up and see what everything is, what is going on with your batteries. But I'm not 100% on that. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. I'll give you an update if that does happen. Also, if you buy the kit, which is if you buy two or three batteries, uh, you also get the gauge that you can mount on your dashboard that is gonna tell you, uh, I believe it tells you your watts, your amps, and your overall percentage. It'll give you a percentage like 50, 70, whatever it is. Uh, but I will be going through all this at a later time. We also get uh, a buzz bar. So what you will do is you will connect each battery to this buzz bar. So this is gonna be your negative bank and your positive bank. You're gonna connect all the positives here, and then you can connect your cart positive here. Then you're gonna connect all your negative, and then you connect this to the negative on your cart. And this is gonna keep all these batteries nice and balanced out, uh, rather than just connecting all your negatives, all your positives, and then connecting your cart in there. But I mean, I suppose you could, but I'm gonna use this here, this, these blocks here. It's gonna be, it's gonna make the install a lot cleaner and nicer looking. Uh, what else do we get? They also give a 48 volt to 12 volt a buck converter, which is amazing because this is going to allow you to 
bring down the voltage from 48 volt down to 12 volt if you have any lights or any 12 volt accessories. Like let's say you wire in a 12 volt cigarette lighter to let's say run a cooler or something onto your golf cart. Um, this is gonna allow you to do that. I'm not sure how many amps this is. Oh nice, they even give little connectors here. It's like Wagyu connectors sort of to make all your terminations. And this is gonna do 20 amps. So you can actually run quite a lot of things on 12 volt 20 amps. Like you could very easily run exterior lights as well as a cigarette lighter for a cooler or you can even wire in a USB to charge your phone. That's pretty nice that this comes in the, uh, in the battery kit. Another thing in the battery kit, which I love, I like that they're doing this. So this here is a plug. We have the male end here and then we have the female end that's gonna sit in the battery bank. And what this is gonna allow you to do is remove your old plug-in port for where you plug your card in and install this. And in the kit, they also sell you a 22 amp waterproof charger. So you can install this in your battery bank next to your batteries, wire it all in, and then put this in the charging port and then there's no more proprietary charging cable or charging equipment that you need to have. All you need to have is an extension cord. You wanna make sure that you use a high grade extension cord. I would say a 14 gauge, uh, even better if you can get a 12 gauge extension cord. Uh, 12 gauge, I'm talking about the wire inside of the extension cord. I would say look for a good 12 gauge extension cord um, because this is gonna take like, I think over a thousand watts of AC. So, you know, maybe 10 amps AC, nine amps just off the top of my head. So either a 14 gauge, even better, a 12 gauge extension cord. And you can just run the extension cord over into here, which is gonna run into here, which is gonna charge the batteries. So there's no more, where's my charger or whatever. You could be, you could literally drive to a friend's house and plug into the wall and you don't have to carry a clunky charger around with you. Just mount this one in your battery bay next to these guys. So that is really amazing. Uh, another thing you get is the end for the charging cable. So this end goes into this piece here. Where is it? Oh, okay. There's, there's arrows on here. Um, put the two arrows together and that clicks in. Now that's locked unless I turn that and then I can pull out the cable. So that's locked in and then you just connect these. Um, you can connect it to, you can connect it right here to this block. Just put the positive on the positive, negative on the negative, or you could even just connect it straight to the battery, one of the positives, one of the negatives. And then when it charges out, it'll pass through the entire bank. But I'm gonna hook mine right up to this block and then that way it's gonna evenly distribute out to all three batteries. I think I have covered everything. Oh, and uh, just one more thing, the power cord to go from the 20 amp, 22 amp charger uh, to the wall plug. So you would connect this on your cart and this has a plug too that keeps this uh, waterproof and out of the elements. And then you would plug this into the female end, which then plugs into here, obviously, um, AC product. So that is the Epoch Complete Kit. This is everything you're gonna need. They thought of it all. So this video was just an introduction. I just wanted to lay out everything that you get uh, in this kit. Moving forward, I'm gonna make a complete install video. I already have the lead acid batteries removed out of my cart which was a lot of weight, like my suspension actually raised up um, once I took all those batteries out. And I mean, these are very light. I'll put the weight of each battery and the combination of all three, how much it's gonna weigh. So it's gonna reduce the overall weight of the cart drastically. Um, and then to have the ability to plug in 12 volt accessories and a gauge and a charger I mean, this complete kit, everything you need, everything you need, and you don't need to do anything else. All you need to do is pull out your lead acid batteries, put these right in the compartment. These are even built 
to size to fit in the place of your uh, lead acid batteries. A lot of the other 48 volt golf cart batteries out there, I've looked into them and they're a little cumbersome. They're big, they're heavy. You need a couple people to carry it in and to lower it into the bay. And then it doesn't quite fit uh, within your battery bay. These will fit in your battery bay. The other ones, there's no, you have to modify your battery bay. You have to add in rails or get a welder to, to fix you up with something that you can mount those properly where this literally drops right in place. So very smart idea. I'm very proud of them. I'm very happy and honored that I get to use these. So coming up, I'm going to do a full install video of putting these all in. Uh, we'll do a road test. I will drive this thing around the block until it's empty. Maybe I'll have to carry like a gas generator on me in order to charge it up if I die on the side of the road somewhere, but definitely want to test this system out. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's the introduction of the Epoch battery. Um, I'll leave links in the description below. Uh, check out their website. I mean, I really like this company. They're doing some amazing things. So definitely check them out. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.